All right. So today, what I would like to do, I would like to open the panel for the ladies out here that either co-sign Kiki Palmer or agree with the boyfriend who said that she shouldn't have had her ass out for Usher, right? Let me pull that picture up real quick. Okay, right. So now this, this panel is not just open for the ladies. This panel is going to be open for the men too, because. We we got it. We need the ladies to understand the perspective of Kiki Palmer's boyfriend or baby father or boyfriend, husband, fiance, whatever he is, uh, but her kid's father. She just had a kid. Her baby's only four months old, right? Um, or, you know, do men, you know, want to defend Kiki Palmer? for this pitch, uh, for her going to the concert like this. Like she got that shit jacked all, all the way up her, her butt crack. Like, God damn, she got her whole ass out, bro. Do she got on panties? So y'all can see the picture there, right? So I need y'all to get a good look at this picture. And see how she's turned around to show her, to show him her at her culo. You see the other girls, they all facing. She turned around so he could see it. And he's sitting there lusting. She just had a baby four months ago. Got a little bonky now because, you know, the baby swell you up a little bit. Right? So now her baby father, he puts out a message. And he feels like it's tasteless. Matter of fact, hold on. Let's go to his message. Uh 
So all he said basically was, it's the outfit though. You a mom. And they went eight-ish on, on, on him. Right? Which I which I can agree that if my baby mother just had a, a, a or my girlfriend or my significant other just had a baby four months ago and we in a relationship, like why are you walking around with your ass out? That's supposed supposedly be for my eyes only or for the bedroom or you know in private not for the world to display now yes it is your body and you can do whatever you want with your body i know i cannot tell you how to dress but us being in a relationship in a relationship there's a thing called compromise right and where compromise is you give a little, you give a little to make the relationship work. You don't want to do nothing to make the, your, your guy uncomfortable. You don't want to do nothing to make your lady uncomfortable. So you have compromise. You know, you give a little, you take a little, you know what I'm saying? Vice versa, right? On both ends of the spectrum. So I'm going to open up the panel and say, and, and the, I'm proposing the question to you women and to the fellas, is this man wrong for publicly addressing this situation? Because I know that's what people are going to say. They're going to say, oh, he shouldn't have said nothing about it publicly. But if she's in public and posting this, why can't he comment on it publicly when it's a public thing? And all he said was, you're a mom. You're a mom now. Not only uh, that your mom, you're in a relationship. So being a, a, a mom and, a, and in a relationship, why would you do something to make your significant other uncomfortable? And if he address it, why do he, why is he acting like a broad? Why is he being too sensitive? Why, why is it, oh, it's her body. She can wear what she want. Now, 
before I open the panel, I want to let y'all know that more than likely, Kiki Palmer knew that Usher was going to be singing to her because if you keep watching Usher's show, that is the part of the show where he get different celebrity females in the show and then he goes over and sings to them. My song, There Goes My Baby. There Goes My Girl. So he does it with all the celebrity women. The last one he did it to, I think it was, I think it was SZA. It might have been SZA. But it is every show, because remember, he has a residency. So Kiki, Kiki Palmer more than likely knew that Usher was going to be singing to her. She knew that the cameras were going to be on her. She knew that she was going to be the focus of her. So she chose the outfit for the occasion. Now you can go look at all the Usher shows. You will see every time at that part of the show, he's singing to a celebrity. So they already got the call. They already know. And the reason why he's doing that singing to a celebrity, because he know it ain't going to be no crazy fan and they're not going to wild out or do something or jump all over him or whatever. It's, it's staged. You know what I'm saying? So her knowing that she picked her outfit, knowing that Usher would be singing to her. So I just want y'all to keep that in mind while we get into this. Now, I'm going to drop the link. The rules are you got to have your camera on. We don't want no weirdos coming on here. Not only do you have to have your camera on, do not interrupt somebody when they talking. When I got somebody on, everybody else is on mute, myself included, because of sound. I don't want to hear nobody else's background and stuff. Some of y'all might have kids running around, this, that, and the other. You know, it, that's all cool. But keep your stuff on mute. You want to interject, just give me the hand signal. Yo, Choke, bring me up next. I got you. You don't have to take it off mute. Say, yo, Choke, I want to talk next. Nah, just give me the hand signal. I got you. I'll go around first come, first serve. Unless somebody's addressing somebody, then I'll come back and let y'all go back and forth. All right? So I'm going to drop the link. All right? I'm going to set up my Instagram at the same time, and I will be back. Play about two songs. And we're going to get into this panel. Here's the link. Fellas, you welcome. Women, you welcome. Fellas, if this is your lady, and she going to a concert or she just going to the supermarket, are you cool with her with her ass out? Once again, let me get the image for y'all. Ladies, is this right here acceptable when you have a man and you just had a baby four months ago to go out to a concert where you know Usher's going to come over to you and sing to you and the camera's going to be all over you? Do you wear this type of outfit? Do you think that your man will be upset? Let me know what you think. 
Choke no joke. Let's get into the show. All right. You already know. Yeah. Choke no joke. You know what it is. Learn from mistakes out right now on all platforms. This one right here is for the mixtape. Let's go. Yo, Nas. I ain't do this for clout. Uh, I'm just a real nigga trying to figure you out. How you don't put blood in this Judas mouth. Talking Japanese wine like you fanning out. Blushing at this bitch that disrespects your kid and her earth. Calm it. I know that it hurt. You know, back then when he made these disparaging remarks and comments about my daughter and created this disgusting visual, there were so many people around him um, that stayed quiet. They said absolutely nothing. Call me, I know that it hurt. You said Pac left us. When rappers that wink at other rappers in the studio, which made me think, yo, what he got on you? And homie in pink, cause at Webster Hall, he didn't stream one link. Yo, y'all glad for punishment. I'm sick and I'm done with it. If it was part of your plan, I was hard in my word on it. I'm just your fan. With little celebrity. And some say it's just the hate in me. Nah, I'm cut from a cloth. You don't brush shit off. Well, the penthouse of law. Gotta have a ceiling. Only forgive hoes with sexual healing. And that thought right now is not appealing. With these chicks with the dicks like little Nas X, I'm not a fan. You damaged your brand. Yo, Nas, don't ever do that shit again. I'm signing off. S go stand. Yeah. Choke no joke, you know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. Oh, yeah. And you, nigga, I ain't sorry for shit. I ain't with your boys, James. Nigga, I'm with the shit. I'm Wedge. Webster Dictionary defines the word as a substance that is used for splitting wood or rocks. Something causing a breach or separation. <laughs> it's funny what that lens can capture. Separation, division. How y'all having a meeting about Jay without? Nope, not drugs right there. Nobody told me nothing. How come y'all having a meeting without Jay? Without, what about Jay without? I don't get it. It's 10.30 in the morning. Are you going to get Leo? Please, go okay. ahead. No, actually, I was just going to go to the restaurant. Okay, Why are you leaving? I'm asking a question. She doesn't have an answer. Well, well I'm wondering, what, what, what line of thought is it? What pattern is it? John McNeely and all y'all, that y'all have my biggest artist here, and y'all in here, y'all Def Jam staff is dealing with Jay's marketing without me. We were Please waiting. explain that to me, because this seems treacherous. And animosity. What you mean bullshit? The fuck? Y'all niggas having meetings about my artist without calling me? It ain't no bullshit. It ain't no bullshit. Man, look, oh, yeah, look, everybody here is ashamed of y'all. Who wants to work under a cow? We don't have to. I ain't, no I ain't with your boys, James. Nigga, I'm with the shit. I'm nothing like Nas. I'm with the shit. I'm more like Jungle wanting to bust your shit. But bro got me on chill. He said I'm Illmatic, ha. with the static, ha. with the ratchets. Yeah. Let's go to Brooklyn, cause he gotta have it. School days, would've called you faggot, and smoked you like a Spike Lee joint. Yo, the greatest of all timers, yeah. got hit with all timers. Ha. You buster, nigga, your mic with the shine, knockout. Knock yeah, one line is, give you a reason to be a one eye without reasonable doubt. You been a liar. You had a cane, jazz o inspired, rape damon. So they trying to kick take it, they trying to take our franchise from us. That's what they trying to do. Make this beef with they trying to I'm, I bet you they're staging this beef with us. Trust me. Trust me. It was all about the power to, you know, to get rid of Dame Dash, you know, and, and take Jay-Z to the next level without Dame. You know, and it was, you know, D Dame should stop blaming Leo and 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 Todd Moskowitz and stop blaming Steve Stout. You know about the um the Scarface party and all that? How they put the Mitchell's house on in Puerto Rico? He's gonna be there performing, but doing something with them. Who Jay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's gonna be out there for that with the um the, the release of the Scarface DVD. 
Jay's performing for that? Now I don't need two lips. You blow this like a trumpet, you dumb shit. This is an unusual musical. I conducted you looking at the black Warren Buffett so all critics can duck sick. I don't care if you see the Lawrence Tuckett or you Bill O'Reilly. You only rallying me up for three years. They had me peeing out in the cup. Now they about to free me up. What you think I'm gonna be? What? Rehabilitated? Man, I still feel hatred. I'm young, black, and rich, so they wanna strip me naked. But you never had me like Christina Aguilari. But catch me at the West Side driving like Halle Berry. Or the West. Fuck it. I'm piecing up, y'all. The black guy I'm on the way. And then we doing our party, so. Stop taking I mean, uh, Steve Stout's direction. And what was Steve Stout telling you to do? He was, he orchest he walked me through how to get rid, his plan was to get rid of Dame Dash. He told you that? That was the plan. Okay. Scrape <laughs> Dame and Chris, then ran a liar through the rock and the fire. Damn you cold, built the nation, the prop back home. How you the king of LA? When Cube is home, how you banging LA at the nip is gone? Mr. Mr. Smith, yeah, I'm nice with the gift. Two, the double tundras got those two. Your wisdom, knowledge, that I'm king too. I'm sorry I met the other side of you. That's the gift and the curse. Mm -hmm. I'm Christ from birth, from the hearse to the dirt. Fake niggas claim hurt, so I stay on my bullshit like I'm dirt and never shy. Let my feelings fly, Let's go. cause we all die, yeah. like y'all been, <laughs> nigga I'm here, only fear I have is truth not be told, we all get old, it's choke no joke, y'all already know, let's go, choke no joke, you already know, learn from mistakes out right now on all platforms, this for the mixtape, the 50 year old platinum virgin, <laughs> Welcome to AMC Theater 11. Enjoy your show. Yo, Lee. Run the rail. Joke, no joke. Beat on the drums. Many have said it. Let's go out to the East Coast, West Coast. Put it up. No palm to the trees and the palms of dealers and fiends. Late night roam the streets. Weed is weaker, but it's cheaper. Not many chicks frying like divas out west. Every chick's a model like Eva, and you know I'm far. From believing her, so I'm g and her like she g and me. Banging in LA is a different thing. At the end, you either dead on the bang, getting out, doing better things. On sunset, where they hang, Hollywood, where they hustle for change. Times Square here, it's the same. No matter where you go, you find a lane. On the west, they kick it with cane. On the east, trees the souls you think. West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rep, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your glasses, take a toast. If you rep, East Coast. When I'm on the West and I'm doing my thing, no offer me coke or your nose I bang. Friends don't offer other deadly things. Thanks. 
for the hospitality we'll still hang I won't judge you, leave me as I came On the road to success, top of the game Eat all the finer things in the food chain Teach my kids to do the same Whether East Coast, West Coast East Coast, West Coast Grab your wraps, roll it up If you rep West Coast East Coast, West Coast East Coast, West Coast Grab your glasses, take a toast If you rep East Coast you Gotta love life and all for wonderful things Being the travel is a privileged thing Came back to the East, air wasn't fresh Streets filled with trash, various people in the ass. It's easy to tell who's up a middle class. Police and racism, same as crash. Back to where they not social, where they less vocal. When they don't know you, be careful. Show you around the East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rap, East Coast, whether East Coast, West Coast, East Coast. West Coast, pop your bottles and toss the cork. If you rep West Coast, both coasts are known to give you fame. Got paparazzi's playing cameras your way. Got you bobbing and weaving like cash is clay. Most thugs turn Muslim in older days. Change their name to a law they pray. Probably till they decay. This go out to the east and west. For big and pop, y'all, let's connect. Brother East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rep West Coast, brother East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. You can't get the West without the ES. So it's manifested that we connect. Uh. You know what it is. Choke, no joke. Learn from mistakes, baby. You know what it is. Greg on the track. Rest in peace, baby. Either one, we in now. You know what it is. Choke, no joke. Welcome to the spot. They counted me out, cause I didn't want to get down. <laughs> they just talking about God there. What God? What God are you talking about? Say his name. This nigga went Eric Benet. Now the baddest girl won't show her face. You know your ass in the way when she show up to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And you ain't even say her name, lame. You better say dame. In the streets, we call you Roadblock. Nigga, you shot. Nigga, you block rock. Like when Chris was about to pop. Like MJ moonwalking like Spock. You abuse your power fast. You killed the thought that's black. Jay told me in... No certain terms that, you know, no rapper can really afford to look bad in front of him. So mm. it's almost like huh. we got to blackball him. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jay-Z for seeing the big picture here. <laughs> yeah. And it's it, it was a hard pill to swallow. Tariq, you kill the weeds, not the seeds that grow the trees. And as long as you alive, Dame should have a milli, fuck you mean bleep Nigga don't get me started You know I'm retarded and lying hearted You flipped on your peeps For those peoples in them white sheets Like you pro black We pass nil and how you shit on cat You know what you said? What I what? You know what you said? <laughs> um Okay, I think we Pass kneeling. <laughs> Nigga, you got the check. The pros went back. And that's no cap. Leaving cap. With no salary cap. Your son said you his dad. And you never threw him a pass.
watching the siblings in the stand. Same lips, same nose, same hands. The kid, he said, he, you said the kid is not your son. They call you Hove. It must be an immaculate conception. <laughs> Don Player in the building. New Amsterdam. What up? What up? What's good with you? What's good with you? BCA. What's that? B C B Cabell? Cabell? I'm just going to you Cabell, man. All y'all with all this fancy spelling. I just I'm gonna thank thank y'all y'all ghetto mamas from the 90s taking the daddy name, mixing it with the, the mother's name. That's how a lot of y'all got your names. You know what I'm saying? If your mother's name was Joanna and your father's name was Kevin, your name probably Joe Kev or Kev Joe or something. Much love, Dawn. Appreciate it. So remember, y'all, we are talking about Kiki Palm. Had a her cool little out, poppy. She got the cool little out, poppy. She just had the baby, poppy. Poppy, I don't know what you're doing. No, no, no. You don't know how to cool little out like that. Mommy, what you doing? No, I have you there on rice. I have you go in the room and nail on rice. You don't know, mommy. You don't go out your house like that with your with the, the, the baby at home. You don't do that. Kiki, mommy, you know. You not do that to papi. You know, you're gonna make papi crazy, mommy. Papi, he, he's upset with you, mommy. What are you doing, Kiki? I don't know what to do, puppy. So, I dropped the link. I don't see nobody coming on and say nothing. I don't play two, three songs. Nobody got no input on this. Because I see a lot of y'all in the comments. Y'all got a lot to say. King Samson, what up? Matter of fact, let me hook up on my uh, Instagram. Maybe some Instagram heads. Because y'all was talking mucho grande caca. You just came in. You missed the breaking news. Beyonce mom has gotten robbed for over a million dollars in jewelry and cash at her L.A. home while she was running around on the Renaissance tour. They would call it. They ran up in her gate. You know what I'm saying? She's out there. Chan Beyonce and Blue Ivy on, and niggas was kicking her gate in. <laughs> See if Beyonce give you all that jewelry back. She was like, damn, ma, I told you stay on social media. Well, my man Ivy came in here. IG, I'm going to call him. Oh, IG, what up? Man, peace and blessings, bro. Welcome back, brother. How you doing, man? Man, 
And I'm blessed, man. How you feeling, bro? I'm great, man. He, you know, I here cooking, making me some crab cakes, and things <laughs> like that, some vegetables. You know? Yeah. How was the trip? It was good, man. I had a good time. Good time. Yes, sir. Always. Yo, right. what's going? So, all right. Kiki Palmer's your girl. She go to the Usher concert. And uh, oh, let me turn this off. And uh, you know, you don't see her how she dressed when she leave the house. And uh, she just had a baby four months ago. You know, and you a regular nigga. You ain't no superstar, superstar dude. So you're already dealing with her being a superstar on top of that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, was he wrong to put that 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 message on social media? Um. So, I look at that two ways. To me personally, I wouldn't have did that. I wouldn't have put that message on social media. I would have dealt with her personally, and however we aired it out, we just would have aired it out. Um, considering the fact we may not know what he got up his sleeve and what he's trying to do, what his next move is. I think there can be an explanation to why he aired it out on social media the way he did. Also, there could be an explanation to why she responded on social media the way she did. So I don't, I don't necessarily know what they got up their sleeve, and they, they could be putting something together as a couple. We don't know. But me personally, as a man, I just, I'm not airing it out on social media. Not, not my personal life. Not my personal life. Nah. Was he wrong for that, though? I don't, I don't know if we can say he's wrong for it. Social yeah. media sent your girl ass out. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that's worse than the initial situation. You know what I mean? I mean, all right, so now let's, let's put you in his shoes, right? Mm-hmm. Would you have a problem with your woman dressing like that? Publicly? Hell, hell yes, I will. Hell yes, I will. Hell yeah, yeah. We you your your woman is a reflection of you. You have to carry yourself in the same type of sit in the same type of style that I'm carrying myself. So so if I consider myself to have some class about myself, you ought to have the same thing and. I mean, you know, we've all watched Kiki grow up. This is kind of not her typical behavior. Thank you. Now, I, I had a homegirl. She tried to tell me that, you know, this is postpartum from her having a baby. You know, that was, that's what made her act out like that. You know, she went out there to feel good about herself. That sounds like a weak-ass excuse to me, man. Like, <laughs> What, what, exactly. Like, come on, man. You Kiki Palmer, man. How much better do you need to feel about yourself? You're very accomplished at this point. You, what do you have to prove? Hey, uh, who is this girl here telling me stop trying to tell these women what to put on? Hold on. You want to come live? We're going to get you on get your opinion. Over here on Instagram. I don't know if they're going to accept this, but... uh. You could come over to YouTube. The link is in here for you. If you for all y'all that got that one, that got that smoke, that talk, get on the summer jam screen. God damn it! <laughs> I see, so, the man. The only problem I feel with, with with statements like that is it's not telling these girls what to wear. It's telling your girl, your baby mama, somebody he may have plans on marrying how to carry they so. And if you're saying that a man doesn't have the right to discuss those type of things with his females, I question what type of woman would really say that. Right. That, that's what I mean. When women tell me, yo, she can wear what she want. No, the fuck she can't. Not walking can't. down the street with me. Right. She can't. She can't. She can't. Because if a nigga like, damn, shorty, you got a fat ass. Like, what am I supposed to say? Yo, nigga, don't look at my girl ass. Your girl ass is all out, my homie. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you you opening the door for me to get into some shit. You know what I'm saying? You opening the door for an ignorant dude to be disrespectful, and then you're going to be like, oh, you're going to let him talk to me like that? 
And now I'm a chump because I don't want to get into the, no altercation with this thing because you got your ass out. Right, right. And, 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 and ultimately, man, we got to look at it like this. If she was single, then we wouldn't be talking about this. We're talking about this because she just had a baby four months ago and her man had an issue with the situation. If she was single, y'all, ladies, do as you please. Wouldn't nobody have a problem with her having her ass out? There would be nobody to say they have a problem with her having her ass out. I, I sure didn't matter. I'm looking at it, but I'm it, it, as a man, I'm looking at it. As, it's beautiful to see. She got a nice body. She's a beautiful girl. But reality is that that's my girl. I got an issue with that, bro. Yeah, I, I, with that. yeah, I don't. I don't want you de- dressing like that. I don't. I don't. Even that my daughter. I don't want my daughter dressing like that. If she's in the younger generation, like it's not. It's nothing classy about you displaying what's supposed to be intimate. That shit That's is not- the Victoria's Secret's clothes, girl. That shit is a boo boo boule bousque or whatever the hell they, that shit is. That ain't that ain't for public display, bro. Nah. And your whole ass is out. Like, like, let me put the picture up here so they can see, so we ain't tripping. <laughs> like, her whole ass is out, bro. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man, look at that. I, I've seen it. I've seen it. Like she, you got you got on a thong in public. Yeah. And I'm supposed Wish. to be cool with that? And you say you my wifey? I don't know too many men that would be cool with that, bro. I, I don't know too many men that, that would be cool with that. And I, I I do get the perspective the baby father's coming from. Um, Now, you know, it, it, it may be taking time for, for both of them to kick in. You said, well, she had the baby four months ago. And I don't think she's really got in her mind that she's a mother. I think she may have wanted to just got back out here. But I do get his perspective of saying, yo, you a mother now. We got a son, like. So now, you know, this is on the Internet. It's, it's pretty much timeless now. This could be here forever. And by the time our son, 10 years, 11 years old, if he gets to plan around, he can see this from you. So I think consciously he's just letting her know, like, hey, we got to be more conscious of this. You're a mother now. You're not, you're not single. You ain't just kicking it on your own. You're a mother now. Is this what we want our kids to be able to look up and see of you? Right. And, and honestly, this has gotten more notoriety than anything she's done in the last year or so. Yeah, they ain't talking about no movies, no nothing. It's like <laughs> the G- Janelle Monet of the ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Janelle Monet put out the titty, she pulled out the ass. Yeah, uh, facts. Like, At least Janelle Monet was trying to sell an album with it, though. Like, Kiki, what you doing, baby? A A7, come on YouTube. Or go live, or oh, yeah, in the comments that that that's talking for her. Go live with it. Come on the screen, explain it, explain it for us so all. to understand it. Get out the dust. Stop being a common gangster. <laughs> Seven. And, you know what I'm saying? Stop being a common gangster and come on the screen and, and explain. Make us make us understand it as men. Wow. Why this this person over here talking about? Oh, a, a a secure man wouldn't have a problem with that. I hope that's not a female saying that. What do you know about a secure man? Right. <laughs> yes, yeah, we I over here waiting on secure... you. We waiting on you. <laughs> How you gonna tell men what a secure man would do? That's hilarious, man. <laughs> 